This video was sponsored by the World Caregiver Network. For more information, visit www.worldcaregivernetwork.com. Hello everyone, this is Charles F. Gray, K.A. Atari Charles. Uh, for today, I'm wearing this, um, guess it's an army uh, jacket. I think it's actually a UN one, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, the reason why I'm wearing this is, obviously, I think it's cool. But on top of that, basically, this this ensemble, I have the jacket, I have the inner jacket, and the hoodie. Uh, sometimes you use it for camping. But it was made in 1978. And we all know what movie came out in 1978, of course. And uh, we all know it. Dawn of the Dead, the original Dawn of the Dead. But this is not about that movie. This is about kind of a movie tied to it. And I'm going to say it, Night of the Living Dead. But not the original Night of the Living Dead. Not the original Night of the Living Dead. No, I've done videos on Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, you know, it's very easy to just go on my channel, type dead, and then you're going to see, you know, majority of zombie uh, movies there. But anyways, irregardless, um, I want to discuss basically Night of the Living Dead, the 1990 remake by Tom Savini. And uh, if you're not familiar with Night of the Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead was released in 1968. It's a George Romero film, his first dead film or zombie film. He called them ghouls at the time. And, uh, and basically, you know, he had Night of, the, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Land of the Dead, Diary of the Dead, and uh, another one that escapes my mind, actually, Diary of the Dead, and there was another one, like Island of the Dead or something. I can't remember. The last two were okay, not the greatest. But anyways, we're, we're discussing uh, or Night of the Living Dead from 1990. <laughs> Scared ya. Okay, I'm going to discuss a, a variety of movies that I've seen in order. Basically tied in what I'm discussing today, which is of course the 1990 remake of Night of the Living Dead from 1968. So, in order, I, the first uh, George Romero, aka zombie movie I've seen was, of course, Dawn of the Dead from 1978. After that, and I saw that when my friend's uncle and my friend's brother rented it for us. And man, that was scary. Ended up then seeing Night of the Living Dead on VHS for sale in uh, in Kmart at the time and ended up buying that because it was it, the title sounded cool and it was cheaper than a lot of the other movies. And keep in mind, VHS movies were expensive at one time. So I ended up buying it. Maybe it was like 12 bucks or something like that. I ended up buying it, watched it. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It wasn't as horrific as obviously Dawn of the Dead, but there were parts definitely that would have been scary. Keep in mind, I was a teenager at that point. Probably like 13, 14, somewhere around there when I saw Night of the Living Dead. Again, going by memory. It might have been... Might have been a bit younger as well. Could have been 13. Who knows? Could have been 12. Anyways. <clears throat> so. From that point. All the way to. I would say. Shit. What was the date? Maybe. 1991. Perhaps. 19, late 1990. Or 1991. And I ended up. Basically. My friend Dan. And, okay. I was living. I was living with. Uh my roommate Chris he's been in videos before and uh basically this is you know basically not late 1990s I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting all the times correctly late 1990 or early 1991 somewhere around there so anyways or maybe it was late 90 anyways, 1990 or 1991 obviously the movie came out in 1990 so my friend Dan and I basically who I met through Chris uh we on Friday nights when he had them off because he worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken. When he had them off, we would actually go uh, to, you know, we would walk to the movie place, which was basically where Dan lived and where Chris and I lived. We lived in Little Saigon, 
That's what was, well, that was a nickname for it at the time. And we would walk through little Saigon, our neighborhood, past the massive cemetery. And then, of course, in the other side of the cemetery, I think it was a place called Discount Gyms. And a little bit past that was basically a video rental store. I don't remember the name of the video rental store. And they had Night of the Living Dead 1990. Now, of course, I was familiar with uh, Dawn of the Dead, the original 1978 version. And, of course, I was familiar with Night of the Living Dead uh, from 1968, which I had on VHS. And I, I look at it and I'm like, what? Like, I look at it. And, you know, this is this is in the time of VHS, of course, no DVDs. And I'm like, what? They have a remake about this? Like, you know, when I show Dan and he's really interested and I said, yeah, it's like, this looks like a remake remake of, uh, this must be a remake of Night of the Living Dead. And I'm like, okay, let's, you know, so we both decide, oh yeah, let's rent this. So what we would do is generally we would go there and rent maybe one movie, maybe two movies. And even though we were broke dudes in our 20s, early 20s, we, uh, Movie rentals are actually very affordable. I mean, you could be broker. You could be broker than Jungle Gym and afford a uh, movie rental for sure. And this wasn't a big chain. This wasn't a Rogers uh, video or a Blockbuster video. This was basically, I don't even know. Maybe it was a 24-hour video store. I don't know. It, it, was, it was a smaller chain or a smaller store. But it was really nice inside. <clears throat> So anyways, <coughs> we rent this thing and uh, we take it back. Where did we ended up? I think we ended up watching it at Dan's, I believe. Because, of course, Dan still lived with his parents and obviously they had food and snacks and things like that. That was like, oh, okay. You know, whereas at my place, basically, Chris and I were broken than Jungle Gym. And what was in the cupboard, basically peanut butter jam and so and a bag of rice basically and if you're lucky some itchy band noodles that was pretty much it so anyways we uh we go to dan's or whatever and from what i recall dan did have a tv in his room and a, and a v vcr player so anyways we popped this thing in and uh you know and ended up watching the movie and i thought it was i thought it was actually a really amazing movie i really liked it and believe it or not, I like Tom Savini's 1990 uh, Night of the Living Day, Night of the Living Dead remake over the original 1968 uh, original by George Romero. Now the thing is, basically, you needed to have the 1968 version to, have, of course, have the 1990 version, and of course, to even have any of these other movies. So it was obviously it needed to exist. It needs to exist, but. What I would say is basically this uh, 1990 remake was, it took all of the good stuff, in my opinion, from, obviously it's a remake from 1968, really great actors, really great character development, but just brought the gore up to a whole new level. Just brought the gore up to a whole new level. Um... I, maybe at some point I may end up doing a, uh, how I did with Dawn of the Dead, doing a uh, commentary on um, the colorization, uh, uh, the colorized remake 1990 uh, Night of the Living Dead by Tom Savini, or he directed it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just an amazing movie. Um, a, it's color, which was nice. B, basically, the zombie gore and the realism of the, the zombie makeup was, was absolutely amazing and absolutely corpse-like. Like, it didn't look cartoony. It didn't look kind of like bland. It didn't look like over the top. It really looked like these animated corpses. It was just fucking awesome. So there was a couple scenes. Well, there's this one scene. Obviously, you know how the movie plays out. If you, if you don't, I'm telling you, first, you want to watch the 1968 Night of the Living Dead. And then second, watch the, uh, watch the colorized remake, the 1990 remake. Well worth it. Um, and actually I do have, uh, both on Blu-ray, which is very cool as well. So anyways, uh, what, the part that really, um, creeped me out folks. And, uh, I think we're, you know what we're going to do? The part that really creeped me out. I think we're going to, we're going to, we're going to make this a part one and part two. So you're, you're finished watching part one. Stay tuned for part two.
This video was sponsored by the World Caregiver Network. For more information, visit www.worldcaregivernetwork.com.